The annual Oklahoman special that profiles successful Sooner State natives is going to air tonight right here on Channel 6. Included this year, opera singer Sarah Coburn, New England Patriots player Wes Welker, and actress Megan Mullally will be featured. And uh, here to talk about that is the host, Becky Dixon. Becky, great to see you as always. You know, this is a very eclectic mix here, I think. You know, an opera singer, a football player, an actress. You know, they have each succeeded in their own fields, and they've done it in really distinctive ways, as you say. You know, Sarah Coburn is, um, I think, one of the really up-and-coming stars in the opera world. She has performed all over the world in some of the top opera companies, and she's received critical acclaim coast to coast. One critic even uh, compared her to Maria Callas. Wow. And we talked to her earlier this year when she was in Tulsa performing with Tulsa Opera, and she's this petite woman, but she has this amazing voice. I noticed the last name, Coburn. Is that uh, in the relation? The daughter of Senator Tom Coburn. Very yes. interesting. She grew up in Muskogee and attended Oklahoma State University, wanted to pursue a career in music education. She and her mother took a trip to New York City. She saw a Broadway play, and she said, I want to perform. And then she was introduced to opera by attending a performance of Tulsa Opera, and here she is today. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and well on her way to stardom on Broadway. Um, Wes Welker, you know, this is a guy, as a former sportscaster, I, I just love him. He's not that big, certainly pretty fast. And he's having another fantastic year for the New England Patriots. You know, in spite of uh, Tom Brady getting hurt early, early, very early, yeah. first game of the season, he has had a solid season. In fact, he's leading the league in receptions now. I call West the little engine that could mm -hmm. because every time the football world oh, said, no, you can't, he said, yes, I can. He was only offered one scholarship out of college, and that was after someone else backed out at Texas Tech. Every school in Oklahoma turned him down. He went on at Texas Tech to be named uh, to the All Big 12 team three years in a row. Again, he faced rejection after college because no one offered him, uh, uh, or he went undrafted in the NFL draft, went on and, of course, is having a very successful career. Um, you know, in the NFL. We talked to him at Heritage Hall. He yeah, graduated from there, was. and he um, has well, a foundation mm -hmm. and a camp for at-risk youth, and he was given the Pop Warner Award uh, for the football player who has most inspired today's young people. Fantastic. Fantastic guy on and off the field. And, of course, one of the, really, I think, the best comedians out there is, is Megan Mullally. Of course, we all know her best uh, for her role as Karen and Will and Grace. She stole every scene, I think, in that series. I couldn't wait for her to come on screen. We talked to Megan earlier this year. She really is an entertainer extraordinaire. I mean, she can not only act, she can sing and dance. And we uh, met up with her in New York City where she was performing in Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein. And she's just been uh, named to star in the remake of the movie Fame. Wow, wow. She's an Oklahoma City native and got her start with the Oklahoma Ballet uh, in Oklahoma City. But she said, I always loved performing a role more than I did dancing it. So that's how she developed her love of acting. She attended Northwestern University and became active in the Chicago Theater. All of these people are extremely successful. I'm curious, sometimes you meet celebrities and you're just, you're put off by them, by their attitude or their egos and so forth. I'm just curious, what was your reaction to, to uh, these three? What are, what are their personalities like off screen or off the field? Well, I have found that all of the people I interview from Oklahoma have been, they just have this, these mid Midwestern values, I guess mm -hmm. we could call them in an Oklahoma spirit. But they're all, they've all been so nice and so happy to do something uh, for the state of Oklahoma. And Megan, I think, was the most surprising because of her character, oh, sure, right. Karen. She's bold, brash, mm -hmm. loud, a little bit obnoxious. In person, she's quiet, unassuming, uh, very down to earth. And uh, I, I really enjoyed meeting her because I had followed her career for so many years. Sure. Now, it airs at what time tonight? Tonight at 8 p.m. Fantastic. It really looks uh, w well worth watching. Becky, thanks for being here today. Thank you.